well. I think the seeds of the idea were actually planted when the early human space flights were starting, followed by the lunar landing, which was a ter- terrifically exciting event at the end of the 1960s. And I think all of those sort of things really inspired me and captured my imagination. Um, I just wrote a letter to NASA, kind of out of the blue, and asked them to send me uh, the application form. I got a call from one of the secretaries in the Astronaut Selection Office, and they said to me, uh, well, if you're still interested, uh, we'd like to invite you to come down here and start astronaut candidate training. I, I just couldn't believe it. Suddenly it was a real... And then uh, on the morning of, there's a, there's a knock at the door. They give you for the suit that you need to put on. Um, and you put that on. At the right time, you walk out the door, ride down the lift, the same lift the Apollo astronauts took to go to the moon. There's a crowd outside usually waving. And usually you walk back a little bit, step back and look at the shuttle on the launch pad because to see a shuttle that's fully fueled on the launch pad is is truly an awesome sight. And one by one you crawl through the hatch and a technician helps you get comfortable, straps you in, helps you get the helmet on, get your gloves on, and then after final checks they close the hatch. And when that happens you know that uh, things are getting very serious. At six seconds before liftoff, uh, the engines are started. Just all of a sudden, there's just a tremendous explosion and a huge flash of light and an enormous roar and a vibration that's just teeth-shattering starts as the solar rocket boosters are ignited. Uh, ground around you is bathed in this orange light and uh, you just feel yourself thundering skyward. Any clouds that are there just rush by the window. You can see the, um, the coastline recede into view as you climb upwards. At about two minutes into the flight, you'll be burning fuel at a rate of 12 tons a second. And then there's another big flash around the outside of the vehicle and the solid rocket boosters are gone. And you feel the acceleration diminish. You're nearly 100,000 feet up in the air already. You're so high in the atmosphere. Um, you see out the window these, these flashes of brilliant color of greens and reds of plasma bursting around the window. And eight and a half minutes after you've left the launch pad, you are in orbit and you're traveling at 30,000 kilometers an hour. And suddenly the engine shut down and it just becomes quiet. All that acceleration that you felt has gone away and you see any loose items like straps or anything just sort of suddenly just lift up and float around and you're in zero gravity and you've arrived.